What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in this video, we're gonna talk about an extension that helps you draw different kinds of curves in SketchUp. Before I get started, I wanna thank my newest supporters on Patreon, Steve Erickson and John Miller. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So one of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover in these videos every week. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to support the show, maybe vote on the extensions that I cover every week, make sure you check that out in the links down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Curve Maker. Plugin developer, Terry R. Plugin cost, it's free. Where can you get it? You can download it from both the SketchUp and Sketchication extension stores. Tool functions. This extension allows you to draw and edit many different kinds of curves within SketchUp. You can access a large number of curves within the Curve Maker toolbar, many of which can be drawn interactively, allowing precision creation of curves as you go. These curves contain a number of different options you can set to create your different curves including things like numbers of turns, numbers of segments within your circles, radiuses. There's a ton of different options for customizing your different curves within this extension. So in addition, there are also a lot more curves that can be created very precisely using the Curve Maker Draw a Curve menu option. One of the cool functions about this extension is that you can live edit most of your different curves by right clicking on them, then selecting the edit curve function. This will allow you to select and move different points within your curves in order to customize them. So overall, I'm having a hard time thinking of a kind of curve that you'd want to draw that isn't contained within this extension. One thing that's a little bit counterintuitive is the interface. Um, you, you do have to kind of figure out where exactly you enter your different kinds of data, which curves are more interactive and which ones aren't, that sort of thing. But overall, there's so many options in this extension that it really ought to cover most of your different curve creation needs. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this extension. I just love having a SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.